All right, people, this will be Carolina Panthers Talk. I'm SA17. How y'all doing? This will be the last video of 2010. I apologize for not giving you the best, worst story. If I will do that in Various Thoughts, Volume 51, next month, let alone next year. Don't mind the fireworks outside. <clears throat> I will be giving you guys, you know, uh, Carolina Panthers review volume 35, 36, and how can they go from worst to first next year? So, um, let's see, uh, 30, volume 35, the Carolina Panthers won their second game of the season a couple weeks ago at home against Arizona Cardinals, 19 to 12 was the final score. Well, they won for the simple fact they Ran the ball more, threw the ball less, <clears throat> and the uh, Panthers' defense held the Cardinals' offense to 12 points. And these two teams, well, all-time meeting, you know, all-time series. Carolina is seven and three, was seven and three, now eight and three. But Arizona Cardinals are undefeated against them. Want to know in the playoffs, which y'all know about what happened in Bank of America Stadium a couple years ago, well, three years ago, next month, thanks to Jake DeLone. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy, but what really disappointed me the most is when the Carolina Panthers offense can only muster up 19 points. The worst part of all is they only scored one touchdown against the at the time, 30th ranked defense of the Arizona Cardinals. Anytime that happens, it just shows you that the Carolina Panthers offense is just downright pathetic. It needs to be addressed in the offseason. Immediately. ASAP. <clears throat> now, the Cardinals lost the game because, well, it's simple. The offense didn't do anything. The defense, they weren't any better. And the West Coast team never plays well in a 1 o'clock game. I know it sounds weak and it's lame. It's BS, but it's true. If you don't believe me, go ask the San Francisco 49ers. Okay? Now, let's move on to the thir volume 36. Uh, the, the Steelers... They have the number all-time series against Carolina Panthers. I can't remember exactly what the overall record is. But um, they play in, in Heinz Field on Thursday Night Football on NFL Network. But I didn't watch it because I don't have it. And the Panthers just they ran into a buzzsaw. They got taken to the woodshed by the Pittsburgh Steelers. 27-13 is your final score. Ben Roethlisberger was just, Big Ben was Big Ben. He did his thing. The running game was there. The passing game was working. The defense just absolutely crushed the Panthers' offense to the point of holding them to 119 total yards. Offense, you know, it's just, it was just bad. I mean, hell, Steve Smith, the three catches, only 17 or 19 yards receiving. So, I mean, the defense for the Panthers was just, they were bad. I saw the highlights, and if, if they couldn't cover, they got burned. If they didn't get burned, they got ran over. It's just, it's just been that way for the Carolina Panthers all year long, and I'm pretty sure they can't wait for the season to end right now. I don't blame them either. <clears throat> so, great news, at least that the Carolina Panthers have the number one pick for 2011 NFL Draft. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. If you're lucky, get Andrew Luck out of Stanford. If he comes out. <clears throat> oh, we're going to get Andrew Luck. It's not a sure thing. He might stay since he's a sophomore. Uh, as for the preview for the Carolina Panthers, the final game of the 2010 season against the Atlanta Falcons, the last time these two teams met, ugh, 
let's just say that the Atlanta Falcons just absolutely put a beating on the Carolina Panthers. I think it was 31 to 10, 31 14, something like that. It was just bad. In order for the Panthers to get to get a win in the Georgia Dome to send off John Fox, who would be coaching his last game as a Carolina Panthers head coach, well, and get his 74th win as a coach and career. They got to run the ball more since the Falcons off uh, not Falcons offense Falcons rush defense is terrible. Throw the ball less and keep the offense of the Falcons off the field. Jimmy Clausen, don't throw the ball out of bounds a lot. Don't do that. I mean, if you see, it, unless if, if you don't see anything, just run out of bounds. Get a little extra yards and so forth. If you do that, that's fine. Now, in order for the Falcons to get the 13th, 13th win of the year and secure the number one seed in the NFC, let alone the home field advantage, do what do like y'all did in um in Carolina. Punch him in the mouth. Run the ball. Throw the ball. You know, frustrate the Panthers' offense. If you do those things, you secure those things. You secure the victory, and you get the home field advantage throughout throughout the playoffs. It's that simple. The final score of um, Sunday's game between the Panthers and the Falcons. Falcons 27, Panthers 16. Yes, the Panthers will have more field goals than touchdowns. It's been like that all year long. Now, I did say that the Atlanta Falcons will go 13-3, and didn't I? So I'm right in that department. <clears throat> now, in order for the Carolina Panthers go from worst to first next year, let them be relevant, they got to do four things. Number four, they got to address the the secondaries. I mean, they if they're not getting burned, they can't cover. They, they, some can cover, but they don't have the speed. Some have the speed that they just can't cover. Well. And some can tackle, but they can't do those two things, you know. It's just a mess in that group, in that position. So I want Panthers to draft a defensive back who can cover, who can tackle, who has the speed. That's what I want to see. Number three, the offensive line needs to get better, okay? No, they don't need to get better. They need to improve because they were just horrible. Horrible, and I'm surprised that Jordan Gross was selected to the Pro Bowl. I mean, how many times you saw defenders just absolutely smack Jordan Gross around to get to the quarterback? Probably one too many. So, but then again, NFL Pro Bowl is nothing more than a popularity contest, just like other All Star games in different sports, such as baseball, hockey, and basketball. You know what I'm saying? Number two, the front office. I mean, they they need the clean house. Marty Herney should be gone. The, the scout need, need a new scout team, whatever. The scout talent. Get good players who will fit for the Carolina Panthers. That's what I want to see. Oh, yeah, get a head coach, too. And get rid of Jeff Davidson, please. He's about as vanilla and boring as you can get. I want an offensive coordinator who can have some imagination, who can have a balance of run the ball or throw the ball. You know what I'm saying? And the last but not least, quarterback is the most important position in football. 
I'm just going to go out of the way and say this. If Andrew Luck comes out, Jerry Richardson, the owner of the Carolina Panthers, better grab him. They better get him. If not, get Ryan Mallett or whoever. But I want Andrew Luck. He can do more than just throw the ball. He can run the ball, too. And bring in a veteran quarterback like Don McNabb. That's just me. Those are the four things, and I'm throwing up the deuces. Happy 2011. I'll check y'all later.